in my last video I got the saddle installed and the oil lines and everything running smoothly so now I'm ready to get the table back on I decided to replace the longitudinal feed nuts for the table I bought these from H&W Machinery out of Fort Wayne Indiana they have a great series of videos here on YouTube that I have been studying um, as a reference for my machine rebuild. I want to test fit the feed nuts first by screwing them onto um, the feed screw. Um, I'll then go ahead and fit them into the feed nut bracket. You thread these all the way on till they touch and then you want to back off one of them until the keyways align and then you can feed them into the bracket lining the keyways up with the key that I already have placed in the bracket. Once it's uh, fully seated, I can go ahead and mark the location of the oil holes so this oil will drip onto the screw itself instead of the outside of the nut. Now I'll go ahead and admit this is uh, one thing I did. I screwed up here. Um, I didn't think to back up the inside of this nut before I started drilling it. And I drilled it, put a little pressure on it, and the drill bit ended up hitting the threads on the opposite side of the nut. Not that big of a deal because I had planned on drilling it all the way through just to have a passage for the oil to feed through this nut and eventually make its way to the lower feed nut. And of course, not learning from that mistake, I figured I'd just be more careful on the second hole. And I still didn't bother to back it up with anything. And I ended up dinging the threads on the opposite side of this hole as well. Well, I had to fix my mistake. Uh, took a little bit of time with some files, but I managed to get them all cleaned up. I've seen some on the internet that would suggest that the holes in the feed nut aren't necessary. Um, but the old ones had them, uh, so the new ones are going to get them too. I'd like to thank all my current subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button and that bell icon so you'll be notified as I post new videos. I didn't notice until I was editing this video that I had pushed the key halfway out of the feed nut on the opposite side. Um, after I had put all this together, I went back out and took the table off and fixed it. With the table not on and out of the way, it's a lot easier to go ahead and install the feed nut retaining screw and the washer head screw now. And I can go ahead and install these oil lines just before I put the table back onto the saddle. I went ahead and got the table back on in my shop cart and uh, I went ahead and adjusted the knee to just the right height. And then I was able to slide the table back onto the saddle with not a lot of effort. And then after, you know, putting some oil on the gib, I'll go ahead and install the gib into the table and then install the gib retaining screw in after that. And then of course, just like the other two, I will go back and adjust these gibs uh, once the uh, machine is back together. Now 
Next is the bearing bracket for the left hand side of the table and that's attached with four socket head cap screws. Now I can go ahead and put on the dial and the dial lock. Yeah, this washer is going on in the wrong order. Uh, the first thing that needs to go on is a bronze bushing over which a spring is placed. And then the washer should have gone on uh, before the handle and the nut. Uh, and then once the handle is secure, uh, the table is finished minus the power feed. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you'll know whenever I post a new update to this rebuild. Thank you.